Aloha, everybody. This is Tiggy Maximus with Tiggy Maximus Talks on YouTube, episode 41. I'm glad you guys made it to this episode after so many episodes. We are coming up on the end of 2022. Um, so let's get into it. Let's talk about NFL. So last weekend, week 16, uh, a lot of great action. Started off with the Jaguars defeating the New York Jets 19 to three. It looks like the Jaguars are in the driver's seat for the AFC South division title. Um, they're tied for first place with the Tennessee Titans, but because the Jaguars had already beaten the Titans, Jaguars hold the first place tiebreaker. And it looks like the Titans are just sliding out of the playoffs, it seems. But granted, there is a winner to take all week 18 matchup between the Jaguars and the Titans. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, next up on week 16, Bills took care of business, beat the Bears in Chicago. Saints went to Cleveland, beat the Browns. Saints actually, the Saints actually are just one game behind the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for first place in the NFC. South Division race with only two games to go. Um, Bills are still in first place of the AFC playoff bracket, so they hold a tiebreaker over the Kansas City Chiefs. But the Bills have a tough game ahead. They're playing the Cincinnati Bengals on Monday Night Football, and that might start to shift. Who's going to be in first, second, and third in the AFC playoff standing? So, uh, next up we have the Chiefs. They beat the Seahawks 24 uh, 10. So, the Bills and Chiefs are both 12 and 3, while the Cincinnati Bengals are 11 and 4. Bengals actually ended up being the Patriots 22 18. Um, interesting thing about that. The Bengals were actually ahead 22-0, and the Patriots managed to claw back into it, but fell short, and it was 22-18 Bengals, and with a score of 22-18, guess what? This was a score agami. This score has never been uh, recorded in the history of NFL football. This is the first time that score came up as the final score in NFL history, so... Nice. Uh, next up, we have Vikings beating the Giants. Giants are still in the sixth playoff spot in the NFC playoff race. The Vikings are 12 and 3 with their victory. They are the second seed in the NFC playoff bracket. Uh, that game ended on a 61 yard field goal, actually, by the Vikings. Uh, Kudos to the Vikings for uh, bouncing back. Next up, we have a surprise. The Lions lost to the Panthers. Panthers are also one game behind the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the NFC South. Um, big surprise, though. The Lions are pretty hot going into this game, winning uh, six of their last seven games, and they're just a half game out of the playoffs. But they lost to the Panthers. However, um, the Lions are still half a game out because apparently if you were seeds number six, seven, eight, um, nine, uh, in the NFC bracket, they all lost, so nothing had changed. So, um, so hopefully uh, the Lions still technically have a better, easier, slightly easier schedule than the uh, Seahawks and the Giants and the Commanders. So who knows? Lions might still make it. Uh, next up we have Ravens beating the Falcons. It was it was a kind of a boring game, but very defensive battle game. Um, Lamar Jackson is still hurt for the Ravens, so they won 17-9 at home. 
Uh, Falcons, I don't think they can um, get to this NFC South Divisional Championship because they're two games behind with two to go. And I'm pretty sure they can't. I think they've already been eliminated. So, next up, big shocker Texans went to Tennessee and they beat the Titans, which has now forced a tie for the AFC South Division um, lead. So, Jacksonville Jaguars with the tiebreaker, and the Tennessee Titans have lost their quarterback for the rest of the season, Ryan Tannenhill. And they put in Malik. Um, some guy named Malik. Uh, yeah. Next up, we have 49ers crushing the Commanders. 49ers, I believe, are tied for the third seed with the Dallas Cowboys. 49ers beat the Commanders 37-20, while the Cowboys beat the Eagles without Jalen Hurts 40-34. So, Cowboys and 49ers are tied for the third seed. Um... And again, Commanders are holding the very last playoff spot at 7-7-1. Still ahead of the Detroit Lions and the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Next up, we have Raiders and Steelers. Well, Raiders blew another late lead again. Steelers won at home 13-10. And the Steelers are still alive for the playoffs. And... The Raiders, well, it's, I don't know if they have enough of the tiebreakers, but, I mean, the only way this could happen, but I think there's a way that Raiders can still make it if they win their last two, finish 8-9, but the Dolphins would have to lose their last two games. One of them is actually to the Patriots and one is to the Jets which are also seven and eight at this moment so if you think about it I mean I guess if they all beat each other the Jets the Patriots and Dolphins uh I don't know. I have a feeling the Raiders do not have a uh, a tiebreaker in their favor, honestly. But I didn't do all the math, but it does not look like the Raiders are going to make the playoffs because they already benched Derek Carr for the rest of the season, and they're going to put in Jason Stidham um, for the last two games. So it is what it is. Um, let's see. And the final... Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, Steelers, they have a shot. They're only one game out behind the Dolphins, so. There is a bit of a traffic jam at 7-8 and eight in the AFC uh, playoff picture. Um, uh, Steelers, Patriots, Jets, they're all 7-8, and eight, and the Dolphins are 8-7, and seven, so. Who knows what happens because I bring that up because the Packers had just been the Dolphins 26-20. So the Packers are still alive for the playoffs. Um, Half game behind the Commanders for the very last playoff spot. I mean, it's very doable. I mean, Packers are playing the Vikings and the Packers are going to play, I'm guessing, the Bears to end the season. So... Um... Dolphins, Tua is in concussion protocol, so I don't know if, I don't think Tua is playing in week 17, so, and the Dolphins I think are playing the Jets, so it might be a hard game for the Dolphins, especially if they've been sliding for like, what seems like, four straight game now, um, yeah. Ooh, but what? Uh, next up, we have the Rams 
annihilating the Denver Broncos. Broncos got rid of their coach, Coach Brack Hackett. Rams, the area lost Aaron Donald, Cooper Cup. Um, uh, Matthew Stafford. But um, Rams took care of business, but Rams and Broncos are both eliminated in the playoffs. Uh, game was 51-14, by the way. And then a tight one. Buccaneers beat the Cardinals 19-16 in overtime. Buccaneers are still at 7-8 and eight with the lead in the NFC South uh, division race. So, uh, And of course, my Chargers went in on Monday Night Football. Another primetime game. Beating the Indianapolis Colts at their place 20-3. And guess what? With that victory, the Chargers have clinched a playoff spot in the AFC uh, playoff. So, Chargers can't do better than five. Right now, they're number six. Um, And the Chargers have the two easiest teams left on their schedule. And honestly, Chargers will be 11-6 by the end of week 18. And going on a hot streak and take on whoever is on the other side of the field. It could be the Jacksonville Jaguars, or quite possibly it could, might be the Tennessee Titans if they got their act together in time. But I'm thinking Jacksonville Jaguars are going to win um, the South. So, And the way things are going, Bengals are trying to chase down the Chiefs and the Bills. So I think the Bengals will beat the Ravens. And with that being the case, if the Chargers win all their games and the Ravens lose one more game, you could be looking at the Chargers as the number five seed going to play the four seed, which is most likely going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars. But if the Chargers somehow stay number six, well, good chance they're going to play Cincinnati or they could be playing Kansas City most likely, and the slight chance the Chargers might be playing the Bills in the first round, so so that's my review of week 16, guys, um, I guess since I'm on here, um, let's go through quickly week 17, we got Thursday Night Football, I think it's the last one of, of 2022 actually. Uh, you got the Cowboys visiting the Titans. I think Cowboys are going to beat the Titans in this one. Uh, Cardinals and Falcons. I think the Falcons... Yeah, no, no. Um, I think Cardinals might win this one, actually. Cardinals beat Falcons. Uh, Bears are playing the Lions. I think Lions are going to win this one. Uh... Broncos visiting the Chiefs. The Chiefs should beat the Broncos easily in this one. Um, Dolphins going to the Patriots. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. Um, I am going to pick the Patriots to beat the Dolphins. I don't know what it is, especially when Tua is not going to be playing. Uh, it's going to be hard for the Dolphins. They have such great promise, too. Next up, we have the Colts and the Giants. I think the Giants will actually win this one. Um, next one, we have... Whew, whoa, Saints and Eagles. Um, Eagles should win this one, even without Jalen Hurts if he does not play. Panthers and Buccaneers, that's going to be a tough one. And that might actually be for the South title. But I'm picking Buccaneers to not only win, but that might actually clinch the uh, NFC South for the Buccaneers there. (laughs) Next up, we have the Browns and the Commanders. This is going to be a tough one, but I think I got the Commanders beating the Browns. Jaguars and Texans. Even though Texans did beat the Jaguars, but I think this time around the Jaguars will beat the Texans. 
and maintain their lead in the AFC South division race. And then we got the 49ers and Raiders. I believe the 49ers will beat the Raiders and will officially eliminate the Raiders if they're not already. Uh, next up we have Jets and Seahawks. That one's going to be a tough one. I'm picking the Seahawks to beat the Jets. Uh, that actually might... Um, it's going to complicate things for the Jets, actually. Um, especially if the Patriots beat the Dolphins, too. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Vikings and Packers. And this one's going to be tough. I would say I would say Vikings will beat the Packers. It'll be a close game. Oh, the game I'm going to, Chargers and Rams, it was a Sunday night football game. But it got demoted and it got placed in the afternoon slot on January 1st, New Year's Day. I'm a little bummed out because I was actually excited to be on Sunday Night Football, but because the Rams kind of suck. Um, Chargers are the better team, hopefully. I'll be at that game. I'll be in Section 550. I'll be in the first row. And I'm going to watch the Chargers beat up on the Rams and get their 10th victory of the season. Um, so yeah, Chargers, take care of business, stay healthy, keep the Hawks streak going, and, you know, Chargers would like to have that five spot and face the Jaguars. It's kind of a revenge game, but right now there's a lot of revenge on this tour going on, especially beat the Rams for the battle for L.A., Maybe face the Jaguars again um, in the playoffs. <laughs> All right. So the game that did get played in Saint Night Football, it was Steelers and Ravens. Um, this one's gonna be a tough one. I think Steelers might actually beat the Ravens because I don't think Lamar Jackson is playing this Sunday. He's still not practiced and it doesn't look like he's going to be the starter. So with that being the case uh, I have a feeling that the Steelers might actually not only win but it's going to make an interesting week 18 between the Steelers and the Patriots going into the final, final week. And then it's going to be basically whichever tiebreaker is going to be in their favor um, a week from Sunday. So, And then I think the Bengals will beat the Bills, actually. It's going to cause a big stir up at the top of the AFC standing. So... Yeah, Bengals over Bills. I think that's going to happen. So those are my picks for Week 17, guys. Follow that. Shake off Week 16 if it affected you in any shorter way. Um, have fun with it. Watch Chargers football. You might actually see me in the front row. Uh, I guess it's going to be on CBS. So, uh, Speaking of which, fantasy football. So I was in three semifinals and three leagues. I was eliminated in two leagues, actually. So, I'm in a work league. It was free. I lost by 0 0.52 points. So essentially, six yards I was short by. Um, it was a tough loss. My tight end, Everett, from the Chargers, got a donut. Had he got just gone six yards on just one catch, I would have won the matchup, and I would have been in the finals right now in the in the work final. But I'm not. <coughs> cool. 
But that's okay. That was a fun league to be in, and hopefully I'll I'll be a part of it next season if they invite me back. I think I, I've, I'm better than most of the guys in the league, so... Uh, next up we have... Um, Whew. So it's my my own work my own league, uh, the winner go home league. So I won very decisively, one fifty six to eighty seven. Uh, was not even close. Granted, the guy is actually a former champion of the league, but he was a seven seed, I was a six seed, and what's great about that? Despite uh, the fact that I, I still had four players left and I still won by um, by uh, was it four to six points or something before Monday Night Football started with all my Chargers on the team, and then the four Chargers on my team got a lot of points to help me beat the guy one fifty six to eighty seven or something. I'm back in my own final. I'm going against my friend Tom. He is the number one seed in the league. Uh, so in my league, if you win the number one seed, I'm going to give the person 10 bucks. If the person had got the most points in the regular season, I give that person 10 bucks. So Tom told me that he actually auto drafted his whole roster. That is pretty awesome to hear, and the fact that um, his team made it always to the finals, and one versus six, odds are I should not win, but there's a situation with our quarterbacks where I can't use Lamar Jackson and he can't use Jalen Hurts, so we're going to have to find that backup quarterback to lead our teams. And hopefully, I win. It'll be my first championship in my very own league. And I'll be very proud of that if that happens. So, game on, Tom. No holes barred. Anything goes. We'll see who's the better man. Better manager. Go Chargers. Um... So, I went to uh, Fuck Cow for Christmas at my gathering. Um, good fu. I had the uh, large bowl with the well done steak and the beef balls. It was pretty good fu. I enjoyed it. Um, I also had the spring rolls. They were pretty good. I also had some egg rolls. Good stuff, actually. Um, in a way, actually, that fuck cow was actually very underrated. Um, overall, I would say that uh, fuck cow is 8.5 out of 10. Um, and I was able to go to Costera in Harbor Island with my friend Melissa uh, Wiseman. You might have seen her as a comic around here in San Diego. Uh, first time trying out that place. Great seafood, great steak. They had the Australian skirt steak. Very delicious. Um, I did mine as medium, medium well. Very tasty. Um, it came with, um, I guess you could say, some type of baked potato with a lot of fixings on it. And it also had some, like, kind of a puree of uh, mushroom. So good stuff. I also added roast, roasted mushrooms to my plate. Very good stuff. And I also add uh, rainbow trout. Good stuff, too. Good fish, good steak, good mushrooms. Um, I would say with a beautiful view... Together with my food, um, I also had the ahi tuna tostada. Uh, I would say the place was a nine out of ten. Very good stuff. B 
beautiful view of the skyline downtown. So, um, if you ever happen to be around Harbor Island, you gotta try Castera. Good stuff, yummy stuff. You won't regret it. Plus, the beautiful view. Um, I'm actually going to. Well, well, I told you guys already. I'm actually going to go up to LA this weekend for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I'll be watching the Chargers play the Rams at SoFi Stadium. It's going to be a good game. You know, battle for LA, battle for California. Um, hopefully, Chargers will win. They won't have any hiccups. Um, I'm actually going. To kind of explore more of, of LA when I'm up there. I'll be there for like two and a half days. And then I am going to a hockey game tonight, actually. Last minute invite, Sango Goals playing tonight at the Pachinga Sports Arena. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm going to meet up with a new friend of mine, Mike. Uh, I got an extra ticket, so I'm more than happy to oblige to take that ticket and have some fun, watch some single goals, win tonight, hopefully. So, uh, so yeah, um, it's going to be a fun day. So, actually a fun week, especially since the year is winding down. So, uh, I get some time to record with you guys here. All right, guys, that's it for me. This is Tiggy Maximus. Uh, have fun out there. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays, everybody. Uh, be safe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Uh, Tiggy Maximus signing off.